Nacho is one of the weak points in the Villarreal defence. Certainly very effective going forward, Nacho, the former Rio fullback, as that ball is drifted into the centre and a golden opportunity. And Moreno hits the post with the best chance of the game for Villarreal. Seemed to have all the time in the world to pick his spot. He put it across the goalkeeper, but saw it come back off the woodwork. Always started running behind, just a little bit, threatened to do so. And uh, little by little, Villarreal seemed to be put in by a lead back in their own box and finally that ball gets to uh, Gerard Moreno who uh, had the opportunity to score it was a great volley from this left foot and generally that will go in it didn't on this occasion if they both fit that will be the midfield the center midfield of Valladolid for the future the header down Leo Suarez taking aim and by the lead almost out of nothing and uh, actually is the one who's opened up the lock it's just a set piece, we said, if you actually don't concentrate in this situation, there's extra time to make sure that uh, they hang on to something here. Corner again, this time deeper up to the far post, and the header down. And appeals for handball, Funes Mori incensed on this near post. We're looking at ourselves here. Oh, it's a handball. It's a handball and a penalty. He defends with his hands. That should be given. There shouldn't be any argument whatsoever. The spot kick should have been awarded. And Massif saves it with his feet after all that. The goalkeeper denies Gerard Moreno the opportunity. And that doesn't please anybody in La Ceramica. It is a goal kick. That was terrible, terrible from, from Victor. Not just the pass to Asenjo, the fact that he allowed the ball to bounce, and that's the end. It certainly is, and it is. The second consecutive victory in La Liga Santander since they returned to the top flight for Real Madrid.